Well, there's a history to this, isn't there? Donald Trump has made no secret of his dislike for the Iran nuclear deal. But yesterday, in a conference with uh, Italy, uh, Italy's Conte next to him, Donald Trump seemed to soften his stance. Let's listen to what the president had to say. So I believe in meeting. I would certainly meet with Iran if they wanted to meet. I don't know that they're ready yet. They're having a hard time right now. But I ended the Iran deal. It was a ridiculous deal. I do believe that they will probably end up wanting to meet. And I'm ready to meet anytime they want to. And I don't do that from strength or from weakness. I think it's an appropriate thing to do. If we could uh, work something out that's meaningful, not the waste of paper that the other deal was, I would certainly be willing to meet. Now, let's put that in context. This is eight days after Donald Trump tweeted this at Rouhani, um, the president of Iran, saying, never, ever threaten the United States again. Now, this, uh, s these strong words here, threatening consequences, the like of which few throughout history have ever seen before, comes after uh, the Iranian president hinting America would uh, be should be cautious about taking a stronger stance against Tehran. Donald Trump now obviously leaving open the possibility of reimposing sanctions. Now, let's just take you back in time a little more and take you through how this has all unfolded. In 2015, President Obama, perhaps what some saw as his uh, star foreign policy achievement, uh, agreed with Iran in principle that they would have sanctions uh, stopped in exchange for the country freezing the nuclear program. Donald Trump very critical of the deal while on the campaign trail in 2016 and then obviously becoming elected. This year, May this year, Donald Trump pulls America out of the deal. America's out. Um, then we have on the 23rd of July this war of words as Donald Trump responds to comments from the Iranian president about possible um, stronger, a stronger stance against Tehran, warning them against never ever threatening Iran again. And then now, yesterday, we have this suggestion that President Trump actually is open to a meeting. No actual agreement, but also no preconditions set down. Now, the White House sort of rode back on that afterwards. Uh, Mike Pompeo, Secretary of State, as well, saying, well, if there was a meeting, there might be some preconditions. So seeming uh, confusion there. So how is the world reacting? The world, as we reported last week, a lot of people talking about that capitalised tweet, people even saying it looks like Donald Trump's threatening Iran with military action. That's how strong people felt. Well, this time around, there's a bit of a, a mixed response. The president of the uh, Iranian Council in America writing an opinion piece for NBC said that Donald Trump's uh, flip-flopping stance between being really tough and then open to Iran won't work. He thinks that in order to make progress, Donald Trump is going to have to give some concessions, maybe ditching the rhetoric about this being a waste of paper, the Iran deal. Um, other people pointing out, as a Joyce a journalist here in Washington points out, that actually Donald Trump's strategy of one-on-one -on -one meetings, hinting here that with news that North Korea today could be still pursuing a missile program, that actually Donald Trump's strategy of, me of meetings isn't actually a strategy at all. It's not working. But Donald Trump is receiving support from perhaps an unlikely source, Code Pink. This is a pro-peace um, and diplomacy group in America who have been very critical of Donald Trump in the past, here saying that people should be getting behind Donald Trump's suggestion of a meeting and encouraging him to have this dialogue. So at the moment, no agreement. But what do you think? Is it time that Donald Trump comes back around the table? Let's not forget the EU is trying to save this deal. Or is a firmer stance needed? You can let us know your thoughts using hashtag the cube.